A concern that I've heard is um, breaking of the buckle bone with the physics forcep, and I don't find that to happen very often. Now there's exception to every rule, obviously. The key to using the physics forcep is to use it properly, to be educated in its technique, uh, work on patients. I know there's courses that, that are offered uh, through physics to learn how to use the, the, uh, the physics forceps properly, but you're not putting a lot of pressure. It's not like a normal forcep where you're putting a lot of pressure on the tooth. You're putting slight pressure and there's no arm pressure or, or forearm pressure. It's really just rotation of the wrist. It's hard, hard for many people to understand, but just simply rotating the wrist with very light pressure, and oftentimes I'll just hold it with a thumb and maybe one or two fingers and just rotate my wrist. If you can see, I'm just rotating my wrist. Now, it may take a minute or two for the tooth to pop out. If you use it like a normal forcep, certainly you can break the buckle plate as you would with a, with a normal forcep. But with the physics forcep, using that light pressure and allowing the, the blood flow and the PDL to break apart really doesn't allow for the buckle plate to break at all.